Now, reports say, suggest, the Trump administration has dropped support for the border adjustment tax on imports. Matt Shea joins us now. He's with the National Retail Federation, the CEO thereof. And Matt, you won because retailers hate the border tax. You won this one. You happy? Well, Stuart, I think we're happy that we're going to see the elements of a plan from the president that is going to be good for our economy. It's going to be good for consumers, for small businesses, good for investment and job creation. So we're very pleased about that. Uh, you and I have discussed uh, here on the program a couple of times over the course of the last few months. Uh, we don't think yeah, that this proposal right. is going to go away. We're certainly very pleased it's not in the president's draft. Uh, we think it's extraordinarily bad for consumers. It would drive up prices of everything that people purchase. Uh, that's not what our economy needs, and that's not what Trump voters voted for last November. On the other hand, uh, here's another win for you, because as I understand it, retailers do pay that very, very high level of corporate tax, 35%. You pay a higher effective tax rate than most other industries, and so you've got to be another winner if that tax rate drops to 15%. I mean, you guys are making hay. Yeah, that, that part's absolutely true, and we're very pleased to see that. Uh, you know, listen, this, this tax code needs to be blown up and, and we need a blank sheet of paper and we should start over with it uh, if we can do that. Uh, if we can't do that, we at least need to lower the rates, make ourselves more competitive. Uh, we create more jobs in this economy than any other industry and that's why we've been out pushing for reductions in rates and transformation of the code. But, Matt, this will be great for us. You know what the other side of the argument is. You guys in the bricks and mortar business, the mall people, you're dying. You're having a very hard time. And tax relief is not going to make much difference to that. No, tax relief, well, it will make a difference to the extent that you can use your capital in other ways. You're not paying taxes with it and you can invest in the right things. But I think what we're seeing here really uh, is an enormous transformation in the industry. Remember that more than 90% of sales in this country still occur in bricks and mortar stores. But also, it's important to note that seven out of the top 10 and 21 of the top 25 largest e commerce platforms are operated by bricks and mortar retailers. So this is not an us versus them mentality. This is consumers changing their behavior. And certainly there are big players like Amazon out there, but there are enormously big players like Walmart and Target and Macy's and Home Depot okay. who are investing extraordinarily uh, in this experience. And they're um, playing there too and growing very, very rapidly. Uh, so Matt, this is where consumers are, but, but the retail industry is not going to go away. Okay. It's just going to continue to transform. I'm, I'm 